Today, Tesla starts its first ever virtual power plant beta event. 2,100 Tesla Powerwall owners are scheduled to make about $20 today. They signed up to sell power to the public at $2 a kilowatt hour during high power demand time. So if you deliver 10 kilowatt hours, you get $20. You get the power for about $3 from the grid when the sun is up and power is cheap or charge from your own solar panels for about 40 cents amortized cost if you have them this pays off a powerful quickly i might have to get in on this energy arbitration opportunity if this is available in my state anyway last night late last night um, tesla twitter sawyer merritt wrote on a tweet saying tesla's first ever virtual power plant beta event is scheduled for tomorrow meaning today essentially the 2100 tesla powerwall owners that sign up for this program will help provide power to the grid to reduce stress this is effectively one giant battery uh, swift explained now I do have to admire uh, Elon Musk's battery distribution scheme. We have always said power storage was a problem. This is an interesting way to resolve that. Now let's talk about power generation and distribution. However, it looks like not many people are happy with this. For example, one person I read on Facebook writes like th this. Then let me know if you agree with this view. He says, Tesla as a concept has been funded by and quite possibly driven by the desire to attain the greatest possible amount of tax dollars for the project since the beginning with carbon credits. Now, he, means meaning Elon Musk, is spreading that mentality and subsi uh, subsidization to his customers. I'm a little disappointed, but I get Elon is just a guy, a smart guy, gaming a dumb system. I'm just not into funding it. What do you think, friends? What do you think about that opinion? Now, although rechargeable batteries do not generate energy, they only store it. They are still referred to as a virtual power plant they're called VPP because like a real power plant they can supply electricity when it is needed in principle the batteries of electric cars are also suitable for virtual in uh, interconnection but Tesla has so far been reluctant and relies on the stationary power wall storage system for private individuals now they have VPP projects with it before in the United Kingdom and Australia um, um, uh, uh, this is very interesting. What do you think about all this development that Tesla is going to do um, starting its uh, first ever virtual power plant beta event and uh, essentially 2,100 Tesla Powerwall owners that signed up for this program will help provide power to the grid to reduce stress. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you and like this video if you found the information helpful. I'll see you in our Tesla next report.